Hello, everybody. This is Alia, the love coach, and today we are meeting for an other love circle. And today we are talking about feminine energy. The reason I wanted to talk about this topic, because if you have not done a deeper study, it can become a very confusing topic. So then it feels like what is feminine energy? What is masculine energy? We start to use it in all kinds of weird ways. So when I started this um, journey of self-healing, of coaching and energy healing, I was very interested in understanding what is this thing called feminine energy and what is this thing called masculine energy. So whatever I'm going to share today, it's all my understanding, my perspective. If you have done separate study, because the last time I taught, uh, it was triggering for some people. So that's why I'm already telling you guys, this is my understanding. Take whatever feels yours and you can leave whatever does not feel yours. So let's dig in. Now, before we even get into it, uh, the modern day or the current time, 2023, the way we are living, we are not even paying attention to who we are and as an energetical being. It's more about what can, what can you achieve? What can you do? What do you have to show for your life? So what has happened over time, us women, we have to take on that narrative. So starting from 70s, we started to compete with men and we wanted to do more things like men. And that in itself has taken away a lot of feminine uh, aspect of our life. So I am not, um, I am not a pro like you know the whole feminist movement that we have going on right now. I am more about get to know who you are. We are so powerful. We are such powerful beings. We can create a human in our body. We are that powerful. Forget about men. Forget about trying to ever compete with them. Let's get to know who we are. So that is what this topic and what today's topic is going to be all about. So first, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of comparison, like what masculine energy is, what feminine energy is, and how you can nurture more that side within you. Uh, both men and women have masculine and feminine energy. It's easier for men to go the masculine route and completely detach from their feminine energy because that is how we condition them in the society as well. But what has happened back in the day, we were just telling women, oh, you just stay quiet, you just do this. And now it has completely turned it into both men and women are staying more in their masculine energy. And that creates an imbalance. It creates an imbalance in our energy body. We tend to get more sick. All kind of uh, things that we have labeled, these are women diseases right now. They all are coming from that imbalance within us. So let's get into what is masculine energy. Masculine energy is directive. It's a focus. So even think of it this way. When a mom is raising her kids, most of the time she is in her masculine energy. So she can direct them, do this, do that. Now you're going to do this. And then feminine energy is more, more of a receptive. So when you're receiving, when the mom is just holding or cuddling the baby, it's more of a, a receptive way of being. That is what feminine energy is. So think of it this way. When someone gives you uh, a gift or when someone gives you a compliment, if you just receive it, you're like, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. That was wonderful. That was beautiful. You just receive. In that moment, you're in your feminine energy. And if right away you're like, oh, what I'm going to give to that person. Oh, what compliment can I give to them? That is right away, uh, you know, you're trying to reciprocate whatever you uh, got that's more directive. Then you're not in your masculine, uh, feminine energy. You have switched to the masculine side. And if you're staying, if you are in a female body, because soul does not have a gender, soul is not like man or woman, the body has the gender. So if you're in a, uh, in a woman's body, 
and you're not staying in your feminine, you're not balancing the two, it creates all kind of energetical misalignment within you and create the diseases. So one thing I tell my clients, when you please receive praise, receive a gift, just receive it. So one thing just from here you can learn is when someone gives you something, just receive it. Don't try to give back. Don't feel obligated to give back. Don't feel like, okay, now what I need to do for this person because I'm feeling bad inside of me for receiving this. Be uncomfortable, just receive it. That is when you're going to get access to who you truly are. And it's going to feel so good. It's going to feel so light over time. In the beginning, it will feel very uncomfortable. And you're going to notice that you're stepping more into who you naturally are. And you're not trying to manipulate yourself to be more like a man because we have unfortunately praised masculine energy so much that right now everybody is stuck in that mode. Okay, the next thing is um, that feminine energy is creative and masculine energy is executive. So when we are uh, creating a plan, let's say if you are creating a plan for your life and you're creating a plan for your business, you're cr creating a plan for your kids, whatever you're creating, when you are focused in that, in that creative energy, that's where you are. That's feminine. That's why our body creates a human. That's feminine energy. But then when you have to execute the plan, when you have to be like, okay, these are the steps that I'm going to take for this to make a uh, part of my reality. Action, that is masculine energy. Now, if you are acting all day long and you're not doing anything creative, that is going to create an imbalance in your life. And most of the careers we have right now, they are more on the ex uh, executive sides of things then the creative side, um, unless you are an artist and you know that's what you're doing all day. So let's say if you do have a career where you're leading teams, where you are, um, you know, just following a procedure. Uh, my previous career was um, just working in a lab, so there was a very solid procedure. I, I just have to follow that procedure. There was no creation involved in that. So then it's a very important that you have a side hobby. Um, maybe once a week, maybe once a month where you're creating something with your hands, maybe you're cooking, maybe you're baking, uh, maybe you're painting, knitting, whatever. When, when we step into that creative part, that is when we are connected with that feminine energy. And it's almost like you are refueling yourself. My body tells me when I have been too long <laughs> away from anything creative, I am usually writing. For me, writing is very healing and that is very creative. Uh, for some people, it's drawing, it's painting. So if right now there's nothing creative going on in your life, I highly, highly recommend bringing something in your life. It could be just those adult coloring books. Even that would do. That is going to help you be more in touch with this feminine energy that's within you that is so powerful because it can create anything. It can create different situations, different circumstances in your life. It can create a new relationship. It can create more money in your life. That creative energy is our superpower that unfortunately most women are so disconnected with. So do something creative, whatever that is. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, the feminine energy is restorative. It restores you. It nurtures you. And masculine energy is more active, directive. It's, it's doing things. So let's say all day you're working eight hours, you're in the office, or if you're working from home, you're, you're doing from one meeting to the other. You're not getting chance to restore yourself. So if at the end of the day, you just go into the kitchen and you're doing more and you're not getting chance to, you're more in action and you're not just sitting down and restoring yourself, you're going to stay disconnected with your feminine energy. 
So what I'm going to invite you to do, um, one thing you can do is just, you know, re reset. I call it feminine energy reset. Whenever possible throughout this year, take two days off, completely disconnect from any technology, any work, and just be go be in the nature. Um, hang out with other women. Um, go for spa. Just do something that rejuvenates you, your nervous system, and that calms and relaxes you. You're going to come back home and you're going to feel like you can recreate the whole world because that is restorative rest that is required to get you in touch with that energy that is within you, the feminine energy that is always within you. If we stay in action mode, we are not in touch with that part of us. Then we are just acting because we are, we also praise actions too, uh, especially in, in the industry. I am actions are like, yeah, go take action. You can will yourself into action. You can make anything happen. But if you don't find the balance, when am I restoring myself? When am I connecting with who I am? And this is important for both men and women as well. Uh, a lot of men who don't, who stay in the action and they are not going for that restorative uh, rest as well, they end up burning out too. They have same anxiety, stress issues. I work with both men and women. And these are exactly the tips I use for them too. Disconnect, restore yourself. So if right now you don't have a restorative rest plan in your life, then you need to look at that. And if you if you're a busy parent and you have a you know work as well, and then you're a wife as well, and you have all these things going on, and there's not uh, enough time available for you, introduce five to ten minutes uh, of breaks in your day. So one could be like you know let's say ten a.m. One could be like one or twelve. Uh, whatever the way I do it. If I'm having a very busy day. I'll just go for a walk for 10 minutes in between calls. Maybe I'll just go and sit in the kitchen and just stare at the sky from there. Sit in the window and look at that. All kind of possibilities we have to get into that restorative rest so we can connect with that creative feminine energy that is always within us. It's always available to us. It's almost like there, there's a part of us that we abandon it because society told us it's bad. It's that's weakness. So we're like, okay, I'll just abandon this and I'll just nurture this part of me. And that is the masculine part. And we feel as women, we feel inside of us. We feel unhappy when we are not connected with what's natural to us. When we have abandoned a part of us and now that I rest way more, I allow myself to rest. Uh, that is another thing. Women don't even allow themselves to rest because they, they just take the burden of the whole world on their shoulder. They feel like they're responsible for every single person, even the, you know, the the stray dog on the street or the stray cat on the street. We feel like we're even responsible for that too. And we just stay in the doing. But our, our real magic is in rest. So introducing more rest in your life is so important. Um, the next one is feminine energy is more being and masculine energy is more doing. We just talked a little bit about this topic. Now, what is being? Being is when you can just sit and your worth is not dependent on what you're doing. I can just sit here and not do anything. That is when I'm being. Because when I'm being, I get to feel. I get to see. I get to be present with myself. That is when I get wiser. When I am just doing, I am just taking a protocol and I'm doing those actions. So when, I am, when I'm creating and I'm executing, the creating part has to be there. And that is the being part. So let's say when you are having a conversation with your girlfriend and your girlfriend is just 
just sitting there listening, and you'd be like, oh my God, this person has really good listening skills. They are not trying to correct me. They are not trying to fix me. They are not trying to interject me. That woman at that time is just in their feminine energy. We all have that ability. We just have to tap into it, practice it more, and we all can become wonderful listeners. We all can hold space because we got used to being. And that is a that is a practice you'll do every single day, every single day, because your nervous system would be like, I need to do, because it's been conditioned that way. And you'll pull it, pull it back and say, I'm just gonna be. One of the one of the homework assignments I give to my client is go on a date with yourself. No cell phone, no looking on the cell phone. You can take a book, you can take a journal. And for those of us who have not done that before, ever, it's one of the most uncomfortable experience. I remember when I did that for the first time, because my coach told me it was so uncomfortable just being with myself. It was like, who are you? Like, why am I just being here? What is this? But that is where my my true power is. That's that's the natural God-given power I am born with, my feminine energy. Once I start being, I can become all that I am. I cannot do that just by connecting with my masculine energy, which most of us are doing. That's why we are getting depleted. That's why we are getting GI tract issues. We are having reproductive issues. Those are very common things for women and autoimmune disorders. All of that is coming because we're so much into the masculine energy. We are not, we have abandoned this part of us and we're like, why you're being lazy? Why you're being weak? That kind of self-attack that we do causes autoimmune disorder. You shift it, your body's going to get healthy and it's going to heal. And also you'll introduce the restorative rest as well. You become okay being with yourself. Uh, when I first started to be with myself, um, I used to be that uh, machine that just goes all day long. And I thought that was such a praiseworthy thing because my mom did the same thing. Uh, but once I understood how many diseases my mom has at this point, it just it was a wake up call for me that I need to change. I cannot live like that. So being has been a challenge to learn. But once you do it, you get to benefit from getting to know who you truly are. The way God created us as unlimited being, but our soul chose to come into a female body. Why? What is so special about me? You get to learn that when you're being. Uh, just one small comment I want to make here for those of us who have very painful periods. Uh, most of my clients, they start with me. They have very painful period. We talk about, I believe the word is PMS, right before your menstrual cycle, your mood goes down, your hormones go down. And we, I can sit here and I can explain on a scientific level, on a physio physiological level, what's going on, why you're feeling all this. I might even give you a pill name to take, but what's actually happening? Our, when we go through our period, literally your energy body is shifting like this. You're letting off the old energy and the re new energy is coming. Women lose their sex energy, like their sex chakra gets smaller during their period. They don't, it doesn't happen during sex. Well, when a man has sex, their sex chakra gets smaller because the energy has been used, but for women, it gets bigger. So when we lose our energy is actually during our period. That is when we are almost like shedding a skin and a new skin is coming out. But if during the month, the month before you got the period, you have not experienced being restorative rest, and you have been living more in your masculine energy and directing orders, doing all the time. When you come to that point where the shift is about to happen, that shift is very painful because the other cup is completely empty. You're not even in touch with it. And don't take my word for it. If you have painful period, go try it. 
introduce a lot of rest, a lot of being, uh, acknowledging yourself, doing something creative in your lifestyle. Introduce that and let a couple of months pass and see if your period is just as painful as it was before. And you can also see if like, you know, all the things that I talked about, if your pain period is painful, most likely you are not doing uh, something restorative, creative, and you demand a lot of yourself, which is, which is a good thing. It's a noble thing. But if you have 24 hours in your day, it doesn't mean that 20 hours has to be spent actively doing something. We, if, if I am fully in touch with my feminine power, I can do that work within five hours. And then rest of the time, I can just go play and be. But if I am not in touch with all of my power, I'm just going to keep dra dragging all that work and going to do it in 20 hours. So uh, just wanted to share that because a lot of my clients, their painful period has become very, very normal period. All we did, introduce rest, introduce grace and kindness and self-compassion and giving yourself chance to do something very creative. So slow down and your periods are going to be just fine. They are not going to be so painful. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is <clears throat> uh, feminine energy feels softer. Let me just clear my throat here. Feminine energy feels softer and uh, masculine energy feels stiff or hard. It's more of a, like a protective shell. That's why as, as females, uh, if we are talking about like, you know, regular gender, uh, traditional gender role, sometimes we crave having a masculine presence because it makes us feel protective. And female, uh, ma feminine energy is more uh, softer and nurturing. That's why we there's way more uh, female teachers than there are male teachers. That's why they are more uh, men in the security, police, and army than there are female. Because those those things just come natural to us once we are in touch with that part of us. Now, for someone, um, two things I want to talk about here. So sometimes we take the softer and comforting part to be like, you know, okay, I'm going to be a doormat now. I'm just not going to say anything. I'm going to be the good girl. That's not true. We have both masculine and feminine energy within us. So learning when I'm going to be the softer and when I need to protect myself by creating an energetical and a physical boundary with someone else. And if you are um, a single person right now, you don't have the masculine presence, you can step into your own masculine energy and learn to protect yourself. Again, it goes back to creating those energetical and physical boundaries for yourself. So it's not that a man is going to come in your life and everything is going to be beautiful. You can do that for yourself. And that is when you're going to feel whole and complete. And when the person comes in your life, whether it's a man or a woman, it's just going to be extra, extra layer. I am all about filling your love cup, your, your desire cup yourself. And when you get that partner, it's all extra from there. So have extra servings of love and protection when they do come in your life. Um, the last point that I want to talk about, that masculine energy is more related to our will and Achna Chakra. So this is the point. So let's say you're at work and you're just like somewhere else, you can't focus, but you have this project that you need to done and you're like, wake up, wake up. I need to connect with this masculine energy within me so I can do all that. Or you just want to focus. So just put your finger here and take three deep breaths from this place and you're going to expand the Achna Chakra. You're going to have so much focus and you're going to be able to do what, whatever is in front of you. Now, also for a person who feel like they don't know how to, like they feel like, if you feel like you're just too soft, you don't know how to speak up for yourself. You don't know, like, you know, how to confront somebody when they're crossing your boundaries. Just put your finger here and breathe from this space 
and that part is going to expand and you will find, you'll be blown away how easy it will be to tell somebody no or to tell somebody, hey, you're wrong here. <laughs> you are violating my rights. It would be so much easier to do that because right away you're plugged into your own masculine energy. It's all within you. It's just a matter of knowing how to tap into it and when to switch out of it and how to find that balance within you. Now, the mass, uh, feminine energy, it's anywhere but here. So it's in our body. You can connect through your heart. You can co collect, connect through your lower back. Now, according to Art of Feminine Presence, our, our womb area is the magic place. So much magic happened from our womb that we don't even recognize or realize. So if you feel like you have been at work, you've been focused, you've been driven, and you're like, you know, running like the show like a man because you're in a, a masculine dominated industry, whatever the story is, and then you come home to your very loving partner. You're like, okay, how do I even switch? To being a woman again, I, I don't really even know how to do that. Um, and that is a very legit problem for a lot of us women, how to even turn off, turn that switch back to the other side. It's very easy. Bring your awareness to your womb area. Like, you know, that, that bowl-shaped bones that we have, really bring your awareness there. Take three, breath, three deep breaths from that place. And if it makes it even easier for you, speak from that place with your partner. I do this with my son all the time. I'll be talking from here and I'm just telling him stuff, do this, do that. And he doesn't even register it. Then, then I'll just take a moment. Okay, my kid is not listening to me. He's a boy. How can I get his attention? Take a deep breath. Uh, intentionally bring my awareness to my hip area. And then I talk from that place. One sentence, he understands every single thing because in that moment, I am fully tapped into feminine energy. My tone of voice changes. My word choice changes. I am not attacking him. I'm not afraid. I am not stepping into that protective mode. I am just calling him to myself, nurturing, receiving resolves so many relationship problems. And I have used the same tip to talk to, you know, other men as well, communicate, uh, talking to my ex-husband when he would not understand something I'm saying, and I just need to communicate it. It works like magic. If you do have, um, you know, male partners, uh, co-workers, again, leading a team, and you want to really help, um, you really want them to get you, like understand you. The first time you share whatever you're saying, speak from your hip. And whenever you feel like, okay, you have been so much in your head, you've been so much in the directive role, and you really, at the end of the day, just want to feel the, the feminine part of you. Just breathe from your hip. You can even close your eyes and imagine you're a tiny, tiny little tumbelina and you can go down your own body and imagine you're just sitting in that bowl of a bone that we have, our hip bones. You're just sitting there, touching, feel it. What we are doing, we are bringing your awareness there. When you bring your awareness there, you plug into that energy. So that is where... You can understand who you are in your own feminine energy, and you can start using it to make your life so much easier. Uh, I know, once again, we do praise a lot the masculine energy. Yes, it does have its time and place, but if you find a balance and start connecting more with your feminine energy, your life is going to become so much easier. One of the things that I have been questioning and learning and being very curious so my current coach he's a man um so sometimes he teaches us from that place and those things don't work for me because i i am not a man i am not gonna run or act like that 
So that that's when I just question, okay, how will it translate to me? How would it translate to a female doing all those things from a um, female body? How, how would that be different? And I've been playing with it. And the more I've been connecting with my own feminine energy, it has become so much easier. So much easier to do things to create life that I desire, but not feeling burnt out, stressed out. Because that is a sign we are not connected with who we truly are. So I really hope whatever we share today is beneficial for you. If nothing else, it's going to bring some ease in your body. Because when we are tapped into our own feminine energy, our body is not getting that sick anymore. Because it does have the natural flow. All the channels of flow of energy are open. Nothing is getting blocked and clogged. And that is how we have a healthy body. So that is all for today. And we are going to go into Q&A. If anyone has a question, I'm going to stop the recording.